Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial in which I'll be making a monstera leaf or a monstera leaf, however you prefer to pronounce it. And I've got some really lovely souffle clay here in pesto and um, it seems to be the perfect colour actually so I think this is the one that I'll go for. So it's been through my pasta roller and I'm just going to go over with my acrylic roller just to work out any indentations etc. And I'll pop that onto some greaseproof paper. And I've got a set of cookie cutters here, all in heart shapes. So just need to decide which one to use. So I think the second smallest, it's a, a nice size for a pin really. So just need to cut that out, like so. And these things can often be a bit fiddly, so I just need to coax that a little with a scalpel. So I'll just pop that out like so. So you'll see the edges are a little untidy so I'm just going to go over with my scalpel just to remove those. And I'm being quite light here, you don't actually need a lot of pressure just to remove these edges. And I'm just including this bit because um, I think it's really important to really try and invest as much time into ensuring that your work is as neat as possible just to ensure that you get a good end result really so I'll just go over with the wet wipe so I'm going to use my blaze cutting tool here and I'm going to use the blunt edge on the other side just to create a line down the centre like so and I'm not going all the way down just because I think it looks nicer really so I need to make a cutting tool now, so I've got my tea light candle here and I'm using the outer casing. So I'm just going to cut right down the centre with some scissors. And basically I, I just want to get to the edge of the casing really, so I'll just cut down like so. And I want the tool to be curved, so I'm just using my acrylic roller here and just applying some pressure with my hands. And hopefully the heat from my fingers will allow that to settle into a position that I'm happy with. So my tool's now complete and I just wanted to point out I'll be using the bottom part to cut with, so just wanted to save on your fingers really. So now I can start using my tool to create little cutouts like so and I'm not gonna lie this is quite fiddly so you might need to try just a few attempts really just to to get a result that you're happy with it's worth it in the end though so just gonna cut out again so essentially I'm cutting out a triangular piece I'm just making sure that I'm pressing down all the way so it creates a good cutout and that should come away quite easily, but if for any reason, like this particular one, it's a little scruffy, you can always go over with the scalpel. And onto the seconds cutouts. There we go. And that one's a lot neater, so that was uh, a bit more successful. And onto the thirds. So there we go. And essentially you just need to do the same on the other side, but I'd really try not to be too symmetrical because, um, you know, you want to create something that looks fairly organic really, so the more asymmetrical it is, the better. And there we go, pretty pleased with that. And I just thought I'd mention that you can always add some more detail into your Monstera leaf if you wanted to. So. With my tool here, I'm just um, basically making some lines, so I'm not cutting all the way through. I'm just really creating detail. So there we go, that's the last one. Oops, just need to figure out where to put it. So there we go, there's another version, but I think I prefer mine just pretty plain really. So now it's ready to bake my little monster leaf. And at this point, you'll need to refer to your own brand of polymer clays baking instructions. So here's my little monster leaf. 
all baked and cooled and I'm going to make mine into a pin. So I've got some two parts epoxy glue here so I'm just going to mix that up and just pop it onto the pin attachments and just position that like so on the upper part of the, uh, the piece so it will fall in a nice heart shape and I'll just need to let that dry for around 24 hours and here it is all done I'm pretty pleased with this one and I hope you like it too give it a like if you made it this far and check out my playlist below for some other tutorials on some flowers and some other bits and bobs so I'll see you next week bye bye